Lift up your eyes, look at the fields, the harvest is ripe. Lift up your eyes, here are the tools are sharp. The work has come together. We're continuing on with a series on new life. Uh, if you came with your Bibles today, turn with me in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 55. We'll begin reading from verse 8. I want to speak to you this morning about new life in the world. After salvation, after we receive the new life in Jesus, we must begin living according to the word of God. In the word of God is Eden, the secrets of life. Everything that you will ever need for your life after you are born again is hidden in the word of God. The word of God is the thoughts of God. The word of God is what God thinks. He says in Isaiah where we have read in 55, he says my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. So after salvation, we need to receive new thoughts. We need to find out the way of his thinking. So that we can begin to think differently. Salvation is about transformation. You cannot be saved and continue living in the same manner that you lived. Or something must happen after salvation. You need to be renewed in your mind so that you may begin to think the thoughts of God. The thoughts of God in your life will bring you to great victory. Now, the Proverbs that we have read he says, he's talking to his son. He says, my son, attend to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them at the center of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. The word of God is life to those who find it. Everything you need in life is in the word. Everything that you want for your future is in the word. The word of God carries life. And it says it is health to the whole of our flesh. You see, God does not talk about what you are going through now. Proverbs 23, 7, it says the way a man thinks so he is. God does not think about the way you are. That's why his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. We only think about what we feel, what we see, what is around us. God does not think that way. God has spoken his word in righteousness. In other words, Everything that he has said 
is placed in its right place. It shall not come back to him. He has spoken it in righteousness. He has sworn. The word that he says cannot be changed. He has sworn about it. And he says every knee will bow. God is not looking at your situation the way it is. God is looking at you according to what he has already said about you. I want to show you Isaiah 46. The Lord says, he declares the end from the beginning. This is why when you are sick, he will never say you are sick. Why? Because he does not talk about where you are. He declares the end. He sees where you are going. And he declares it from the beginning. He declares it in the present. Your future, God declares it. He says three times, I am God. I am God. There is no one like me. No one is like him. No one knows about your future. People can only speculate about what will happen to you. No one can absolutely, without any shadow of doubt, tell us when you are going to die. Are you hearing me? The wisest of all can never tell what is going to happen to you tomorrow. But listen to me. God Almighty knows about your end. From the, from the beginning. He has al already declared what kind of life he has ordained for you because he thinks good about you. Everything may be going wrong in your life right now, but God is not looking at what is going on right now. God sees your future. And what he sees in your future is declared in his word. And the future ahead of you is better than your present. You may be having a lot of challenges right now. All those challenges, you need to neglect them. You need to look down on them because the thoughts that God has for you are better than what is happening. He is thinking about a good future for you. He is thinking about health and not sickness. Even if the doctor say, you will not see the end of this year. Those are the thoughts of men. You see, even if he is a brother, the doctor tells you what he sees. He checks you up and he sees you have a tumor. He will tell you you have a tumor. God checks you and sees a tumor. And he says, you are, you are healed. Amen. How many of you know the doctor will never, will never tell you something that is not what he sees? He will only talk about what he sees. Huh? God the present. And you know, we have a big problem. Because we believe what is happening now. more than what is ordained for us. This is why after we get saved, we must be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Oh uh -huh.